after. Told me something came today. Woohoo! So it opens everything to see what we got in. And she said, you're going to love this. Take one out. The new packaging. It's amazing. So good. Hey, it's Lindsay with Ryan and Rose. We are here today. You're in the bead room. And we're gonna talk about a little behind the scenes about making new products. We have a lot of new products coming out in July that we are super excited about. Some we've been working on a very long time and some we haven't. So we're gonna talk about the Judy Cutie Clip today. I'm so, so excited. Um, I feel like this story is very similar to the Cub because I feel like it's taken forever. Um, and it's just one of those things that perfection takes time. And it's something we say all the time. I say it in my stories and we um, say it in our feed and um, yeah, we're excited to finally show you. Um, we gave you a little glimpse in December and then in the cutie community. And then uh, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, we showed you on our feed. And um, I have some behind the scenes too, to show you like the process of how to get to a, you know, a final product. Um, so yeah, so we started April, 2018. Actually yesterday, cause I knew Trent was coming. I was like, okay, I gotta research. I gotta get all of my information. So I went through all of my chats and um, trying to, Cause it kind of, it's all a blur. Like we're doing a video for the bulb and doing a video for Judy. And I was like, it just, it's just all mixed together. So before YouTube's, I try to sit down, get all the information straight and write some things down. So that's kind of what I did. Um, so yeah, the Judy clip. So April, 2018, I actually messaged Judy and was like, okay, I have an idea for a silicone one piece design. And um, she told me no. <laughs> Uh, and I, I mean, it, it wasn't like no Lindsay, but it was just like, eh, that's not good. That's, that's not possible, whatever. And so I just kept pushing her and pushing her in early 2019, I brought it up again. Okay, so my next idea, and I know we've been here before, <laughs> it keeps popping up, and I know we've had this conversation, um, but I wanna try it again. Um, so I am thinking one pacifier clip made out of one piece of silicone, the same size as the teether handle. I found this picture of a dog leash. It was a silicone dog leash and it was attached to a metal, a metal, you know, a little clasp. And I was like, Judy, it's possible. I know it's possible. Come on, come on. So that was early 2019. Um, I just kept pushing her and pushing her. And one thing I've learned through this business journey is you gotta stand up for yourself. Uh, Judy's probably gonna laugh when she watches it. So even in the beginning, I remember for the black cutie pad, Judy was like, you don't wanna do black. I was like, Judy, I wanna do a black cutie pad. You don't wanna do black. Nope, Judy, I wanna do black. I wanna do a black cutie pad. Same thing with our packaging. Um, I wanted to do our cutie pads in bags. And she's like, nope, pacifiers are in boxes or in plastic. And I was like, nope, I wanna do a bag. And just back and forth and just really stating up um, for what you want and through I mean I don't know how many years we're in now but like I've gotten that confidence to be like this is what I want this is what we're gonna do we're gonna figure it out we're gonna problem solve and we're gonna we're gonna do it so that's how I feel about the Judy clip we kind of figure it out and we have and it's so good um so August I had that picture oh so this is some early drawings from 2019 I actually have all of all of our my drawings, I have everything in folders and filed and it's just kind of cool to look back. I'm sure I need to go through and frame some of these things. It's like, Lindsay cannot draw <laughs> because I can't. Um, but yeah, this was an early 2019 drawing. Um, and I even have a video where I'm texting Judy and I was like, all right, Judy, are you ready? Think outside the box. And um, I have all that on my phone. It's just really cool to look back and to see the process where we've gotten to and all the hard work. Um, so this is August, 2019. And this is where the actual Pacific Judy clip kind of came about. It was um, a one piece silicone. And then I had an idea with one with holes, which something else coming soon. Um, 
but we're really excited about. So that was kind of when it was just like, we said, this is what I want it to look like. And then we hit the ground running. Um, and you're gonna laugh because I have um, some of these pictures. And it's kind of, I think it's so good to show you like, I know, you know Courtney. And so me and Courtney will get together and I'll be like, okay, I want it to look like this or I'll have like an drawing, ugly drawing like this and say, okay, make it pretty. Help me, you know, put it on paper. And so that's kind of what me and Courtney do together. We kind of work, collaborate and I'm like, no, make it the loop longer, smaller and, um, that's what we do. And so then we have to give it to like an engineer and they basically, you have, then you're looking at functionality. Like, will this work? Is this safe? Is it thick enough? Is it too weak? Is it, you know, will it come apart? And you know, safety is so important for us. Um, so there's that one. So this is the first <laughs> Judy clip. You can see I used an ornament and then I cut it apart and put, these are actually, I thought I had it. I thought I had this steel. Um, Cause I knew it was in a drawer at the house before we moved, um, but I think I threw it away. So, but this was the first one I kind of cut up cutie packs, the handles and flatten them out and put, um, I think it was a uh, paper clip and just kind of dug it down there and kind of connected it all together just so you could see my vision. Um, so yeah, so there's that one. And then this one is where we kind of, you're gonna laugh. You're gonna laugh. We kind of have an inside joke with this one. So this one we call the alien clip. Um, Cause we were real concerned about it, the attachment point and making sure that it was strong enough. Um, and then I just, when I saw that, I said, Judy, it looks like an alien. We like things that are pretty and stylish and I just didn't feel like this fit our brand. Um, so you can kind of see the process. I didn't like the attachment point either. I thought like it was, I don't know, I just, I didn't like it. I didn't think the beads were, um, I guess what's the question, what's the word, like round enough? Like they look like they were kind of squished. So this is kind of the back and forth where we come in um, with design and functionality and you have to go back and forth and it's it's not really that fast. It, it kind of takes time. Um, this was the next one. Um, you can see we moved from the separation and then we moved to where it was connected. Um, Another thing is I had a fight. She wanted to, this bead, this big bead, just for the attachment point needed to be bigger. And I was like, I don't like it. I want it to be all the same. Can it be the same? So you can see it's actually smaller. Um, it has more beads. And I think now it might be nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beads. Um, so you can see, just kind of see the process and how we go back and forth. Um, and then testing um, through throughout it all. Um, there's so much to think about when you're designing a new product. Like, um, as you know, core value for Rhino is safety and quality. They're, they're, they're at the top. Um, so safety and quality always comes first. And, you know, me and Brett were talking in the car last night. And we're like, you know, we probably could have had this clip for sale in maybe like November, December, 2019 but it, would, it wouldn't be the best that it is right now. Like stuff takes time. We always say perfection takes time. Um, so we we are never gonna release something just to release something. We're gonna release something because it's perfect. Um, perfection. We always say you, I know perfection is not attainable, but through per striving for perfection, you get um, excellence. And that's what we strive for. Everything we do, we strive for excellent at Ryan Rose. Um, so this is another um, set of drawings that you're gonna see on the blog that we had so many designs. Um, we actually showed you this one from, I think December, and it had kind of like the beaded, was the beaded of the loop. Um, actually cut some straps and attached it to a cutie pack to see if it would work. And I just really felt like I didn't love it and I have to love it to sell it at Ryan Rose. And I just felt like that's what traditional pacifier clips look like. And I wanted to think outside the box. Um, so we have some really cool ones coming that I hope you're really excited about. Um, we have a rope one, um, beaded one, and then some other ones that are just gonna knock your socks off. I'm just so excited um, because I just wanted to like think outside the box. Okay, the reason pacifier clips look like this is because that's the materials that we had and that's what that's why they were supposed to look like that. Like, all right, now let's step back and what did the future of pacifier clips look like? And that's that's where we're going. Um, 
we're, we're so excited, but you can kind of see the design process and where our brain goes and um, there's probably like seven sheets just like this of just designs and ideas and um, we don't share it because I feel like we have to protect it because like you see, it takes time and it, you know, where we know we're hoping it'll be, all of the other ones will be ready really soon. Sometimes to perfect it, it's not that easy. Um, but yeah, we're excited when, just to be able to show you this and see um, how far it's come. <laughs> it's come from an alien to a Judy clip. And we, as you know at Rhino Rose, we name all of our clips have meaning. Um, just like we have the Charlie clip and the Ruth clip and um, the Ryan clip. Um, I wanted Judy, I named it after our manufacturer. She's like my contact and um, Judy's such a big part of our lives. She's become family. I talk to her every day. Um, and I just wanted to know, like want her to know how much we appreciate her and how much we love her and how grateful we are for her and believing in me in this clip because I kind of had to push it. Like it's possible. I know all things are possible to those who believe. Mark 923. And I feel like, again, this is one of those products that have shown that. Um, but it just takes time. So I have some of our first samples um, that we got and I wanted to show you the process of making them better. Um, so this is the first set. You can actually, you got new packaging too. What, what? I don't know if y'all noticed if any of you've gotten any new clips in the packaging. So these were the first samples that we actually, um, once we got the mold made, then we, um, she sent them to us. Um, and so some of the things that you, when you're designing a silicone product or any product, you're thinking about the thickness, the hardness, um, and how it you know connects the functionality, uh, the toughness for babies. You know, like there's just so much. There's so much to think about. Um, but one, the first things that we um, had to decide on is, did we want it to move? So you can see right here, it moves. Or did you want it to stay the same? Did you want it not to not to move? We actually decided for it to move, um, just to give you that you know functionality. Depending on where it's clipped, it's going to be easily movable. So that was a decision. You'll also notice um, one of the problems with this design is that right here at the attachment point, there was a little piece of silicone that when you opened it, it ripped. So we actually had to design, redesign this attachment part right here, made it a little thicker, made it more curved. Um, and so that's one of the changes we made. And then on this one, we actually added an RR on the back. So this one doesn't have an RR. Um, but yeah, and then one thing from the very beginning, we were talking to our clip manufacturer, who um, Kevin, who does our metal clips that are stainless steel, and Judy. Um, and so we actually created a brand new attachment point um, for this clip because we knew anything that we currently sold wasn't safe enough. It was gonna come off. So this, and that's another reason it took so much time, is this clip was designed for this silicone cutie clip which is called the judy um another thing that we talked about is like okay so we sell so many different types of cutie clips we sell macrame we sell beaded we sell wood we sell leather and so that's what's so beautiful about rhino rose we have such a variety for you because some people love the wood some people love the handmade some people love the silicone and this is just one more addition to the Ryan and Rose brand. Um, we don't feel like it's gonna take over, um, but it's just one more option. And I think it's just really cool. Um, and that's kind of why we decided to name it just a name. So just like if we have a brand new macrame clip, you know, it's called the Lindsay, or if we bring another macrame, it's called um, the Jack, which we don't have a Jack. We have a Libby. Um, every time we launch a silicone clip, it's just gonna get a, a name, just like it's being added, just like we when we add other clips that are handmade. Um, and I think, I just like that it's different, just giving you variety, um, that's what, what they say, that's why there's 31 flavors of Baskin Robbins, because everybody has different preferences and why we make a cutie pat with so many different types of nipples, because every baby's different. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot that went into this clip. So I was gonna show you, so this is, this is the first sample that we received. Oh, one thing, the length. We, uh, I remember getting all the clips out and, um, okay, is, What's the perfect link? What's the magic number? How long do I need the loop to be? Um, so many details to think about, um, but I want it to be perfect. Um, 
we actually, I don't know if you remember, but in 2013 is when we started Ryan and Rose, um, we were the first to shorten the pacifier clip. Most pacifier clips were really long, and when we sold our first clips, they were seven inches. For so many years, before we came out with maxis and minis, um, the mini, what was actually the midi was our normal, that was our first shortened. That was what all our clips were. All our clips were seven inches, and I really feel like that's the, the perfect length. Um, for when you're like in general and it's kind of like the average um, and so that's why we went with this seven inches um, something else that was really important to me is I'm gonna get let me get a cute pad I'm gonna do white how it attaches to the cutie the cutie pad um, didn't want it to be too thick um, also being able to be thick enough um, to go through the holes but not be too too thick um, but one thing that I was really concerned about and we did a lot of research on is I wanted this to attach and hold. I didn't want it to like come up and be floppy like that. So I'm really excited that um, we worked really hard. So when you attach it, you just attach it and then pull it and then it should stay in place. So this was the first sample. And then next we got the second sample, which was still a pink one. So I'm gonna show you some of the differences. So you can see this one has a different attachment point. There's not that piece anymore that when you ripped it, so now when you pull it apart, it's it's not gonna mess up. Um, it's actually stronger. And then we also, it's a little dirty, um, added the R&R &R on the back. Um, many of you have noticed in our stories how we added cutie clips to the back of our clips. Cutie clips used to be on, well actually, our website and cutie clips and our website used to be on the inside of our stainless steel clips, um, but we recently moved it to the back that says cutie clips. And then you have the R&R &R in the front. So another detail that many probably wouldn't wouldn't know. So when you clip it like this, the Ryan and Rose is up, is facing right. So like if you clip it right here, when you flip it up, the R&R &R is, you know, if you're looking at it, it looks upside down, but when you, the baby has it in his mouth and you see the back of it, it's gonna be up. Right side up. Right side up. Um, but it's it's the little details. It's the little details that matter um, of making it so perfect. And you can see we decided that it's gonna move. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness, it feels like it's taking forever. But perfection takes time. Um, but yeah, this is the same time that I think when we really just kind of went full force in August of 2019. It was the same time as we were working on the loop and the lanyard, the cutie lanyard and the cutie loop and attaching um, silicone to metal. And it was just kind of um, learning as we as we go and pushing our manufacturer and be like, Judy, we can do this. We can do this. Um, and you know, I've learned a lot through the last few years. Um, and even like, not even just like in terms of silicone, but like pushing her, okay, let's be innovative. Let's like, what can we do this? Can we do that? And just thinking outside the box. And that's that's just what we do um, at Ryan Rose. So we filed the patents for two of our silicone cutie clips um, in March. Um, and then of course we are going to launch them in July, which we're so excited about. We'll do a blog post some, with some details and some pictures to see, show you some more behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, a lot goes into every product. A lot of prayer. I, that's what I should have done. I should have got my prayer journal so you can see how I've written about it through the last year um, because it's taken us over a year to get this ready. So. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you're excited to see um, new stuff and future things. We have so many things that we're working on. So many people are like, you know, how many things are you working on at one time? And I'm like, oh my gosh, like a lot, a lot. There's always like, you always have to be working on so many things because like you said, like, like I said, some things take two years, like the Cub, or like the Judy clip that's taken over a year. Um, some products, we have another product that we are already, we probably only been working on it three months and you'll probably have it in a month. So things, some things are fast, um, but some things aren't, And but it has to be perfect. Ryan and Rose, it has to be perfect. It has to be, it has to be perfect. I can't say that enough. Um, so I hope you're excited for the new Judy clip. It's gonna come in a lot of colors. We pitched this to Target with the bulb. 
So um, you might be seeing them in Target um, sometime. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but we're excited and we hope, we hope you are too. So go get you a Judy clip. It's awesome. <laughs>